Hello my beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? Welcome to Geekly Monthly Haul. And it's not Geekly, it's Geeky, but I can't talk. We are now into September. September is Geeky Monthly Haul. I hope everybody had a really awesome summer at the time of this video. Summer is officially over, sad phase, I know. But now we have the holidays, we have some good things coming up. We got New York Comic Con coming up next week at the time of this video. So next month's haul should be really good. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with this uh, statue slash uh, music box that I got for the Lion King. Look how cool that is. It's Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. And it is a music box. I will, I will take it out, but it's kind of a B to take out. I'll take it out. It's so cute, right? And then, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Yeah. I better stop it before I get a music strike for playing Hakuna Matata out of a music box. Right up next, I'm gonna go into like my books, trades, and all that fun stuff. And I wanna start with this big boy. It is a Jim Lee poster portfolio. So it's a whole bunch of art by Jim Lee. You can actually see them in the background right there. A lot of them, some from uh, the Hush storyline, some from uh, Superman, from Batman, from Justice League, a whole bunch. And they are actually like individual posters that you can rip out if you choose to rip out. So it's something really cool if you ever want to meet Jim Lee and you just want to rip one of them out, have him sign it, and then frame it. Or just to keep in the book. I'm honestly just going to keep it in the book for a while. And it's, it's just beautiful. It's really nice the way they made this. And I haven't ripped one out yet, but it looks like it's very easy to rip it out in case you want to add it to a collection or frame it. So, amazing pick. Right up next, I'm going to go into the Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suite. And this is the library edition. I love this library edition, guys. They're so cool. They're nice. They're thick. And they look really good in your shelf. If you have them like this, that looks so much better than a trade paper bag. And I also have the trades, but um, I found out that these were coming out and I had to get them. So each one, I think it's going to be the first uh, comic books, uh, the first run. So this is only the Apocalypse Suite storyline, but it's really good material. Uh, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. I highly recommend it. If you are an Umbrella Academy fan, get this. There has a, a whole bunch of special features in the back that shows you drawings and special stuff that they did, as well as an introduction by Jar Way. So really cool. If you're a fan, pick this up. Speaking of Batman Hush, I actually had to get a new copy of Hush due to the fact that my original copy burned years ago when there was a fire at the place that I used to live. I think I've mentioned this to you guys before. But I got Batman Hush in trade paperback. I just want to reread it because after watching the DC animated movie, I was like, wait, what? In so many parts. So I want to reread it just to make sure that I'm not the one losing my mind. Although they did change a lot in it. As far as I remember, it was not as different. But at the same time, it was, if that makes sense. So I'm going to reread it probably. Uh, it's probably tonight's reading material. Yeah. Right up next, I have the DC Inc. series. I, I've shown you guys before. I've got the Bad Woman. Uh, excuse me. The uh, uh, no, it is Bad Woman. Uh, Catwoman, not Bad Woman. Sorry. Uh, the Catwoman one, and it is the same DC Inc. series. And this one is Raven. It's pretty cool, right? So this is the DC Inc. Raven, uh, illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. He's really good. He's out there. He's on Instagram. You guys want to check out his art. He's actually also going to be at New York Comic Con. So in case you guys are going and you like his art style, you should definitely check it out. So this is a really good story. I just finished recently. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I liked it. It's a different approach on the Raven mythos. And at the same time, uh, it sticks to the root in a way. I really don't want to give any spoilers. It's a really good book. You should check it out. From the same series, the DC Inc., I got Harley Quinn Breaking Glass. And for those of you guys who um, may be in, on the fence about collecting these, I really recommend them. They're really good little stories that will get you hooked. I mean, if you know the character or if you do not know the character, maybe it's a good way to introduce yourself to certain characters. For example, this Harley Quinn one. I highly, highly recommend it. The DC Incline so far has not been disappointing. I almost, I think I like it even a little more than the uh the adult the dc black label and there is a um, harley quinn black label coming up soon as well so there's that so if you want to do more of an adult approach in that you can always check that out but otherwise you will have the dc ink with some really good stories some really good artwork 
check it out. And now we're gonna go into pop figures because we got the 80 year Marvel anniversary original human torch. That's right. At first I thought that he was like frowning, but that's just like the flames going up. You guys can see that. Yeah, I saw that this was coming out and I pre-order it. So this is the first appearance of Marvel Comics number one. So this is the first appearance of the Human Torch. This is the original Human Torch before Fantastic Four. In this month's uh, pop in a box, I actually got Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Uh, that was different. I wasn't expecting that. You, you make like a subscription where every month you get either one, two or three, I believe. And I have it to be one a month, and then you choose what are the categories that you like the most. So I have like anime, movie, etc., etc., etc. So that's how come I got Monkey D. Luffy. You guys want to check them out? It's a good website. They do take a little while to ship sometimes, but a lot of the pre-orders that I've had, I want to say 99% of the time, they arrive in great condition on like Amazon, who always ruins my pop figures. Jeff Bezos, if you're watching this, my man, you gotta get to that, bro. Alexa, what's Jeff Bezos' phone number? She does. Wrestling fans, right up next, I have the Trish Stratus' pop figure. So the outfit that she's wearing, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that she wore in her last match, if I'm not mistaken. And even if it's not, it's one of her uh, most iconic outfits that she's had uh, in her wrestling career. So it's very good. This is from the same series that brought you Becky Lynch, that Amazon exclusive that I showed you last time. And um, I love them. I love these pop figures. I think they should make more. Uh, I am really, really hoping and waiting for a whole new series of like maybe classic ones or even some of the new ones. Like I would like to have a new, some sort of new AJ Styles. I know there is an AJ Styles, but we should have one like with him doing the phenomenal forearm or something like that. How awesome would that be? But until then, we have these. Right up next, I have Chuck Nolan and Wilson from Castaway. One of my favorite movies of all time. So this is Chuck Holland holding Wilson. And for those of you guys who have never seen Cast Away, I judge you a little. They did a really good job at making this pop figure. I really like it. Uh, one of my favorite pops for this month. Hopefully, actually, yeah, I think it's my favorite one for the month. Um, but yeah, seriously, if you haven't seen it, go watch it now. Right up next, I'm keeping it classic because I got Fry from Futurama. Uh, I actually didn't have him. I have been looking for him for a while and I was able to get it a uh, winning ticket lottery uh, toys. And I saw it and I was like, I must have it. And last but not least, guys, we're going to get into DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks, everyone's favorite part, because there's giveaways. So I'm going to start with Desert Punk for, um, on DVD, the anime, really good anime, kind of a little fresh at times, but if you guys like that, that kind of like, kind of like Strawberry 100%, uh, those kind of uh, anime, this, this is a good anime for you. I got it on the save deal, which is when you get them for really cheap. And I actually got this for cheaper than that because I found it at Prince Director Exchange and I think it was like only $12 and I'm not mistaken, maybe less. So yeah, I got it. I saw it. Why not? Get it. Going into our first 4K and the first giveaway of the night, we are talking about John Wick Paravellum. Steel case edition from Best Buy like you guys have seen those before. Really good edition. It comes with the digital copy, comes with a 4K and the Blu-ray, and the digital copy could be yours. And I don't think I have to tell you what you have to do to win it, because it's been, we're coming up to the year anniversary of this Geeky Monthly host, by the way. How awesome is that? So, like, subscribe, leave me a comment in the section below telling me which one you would like to win. Awesome. And last but not least, we have a double feature, even though it's kind of, it's the same movie, but one is a remake and the other one is the original. We have Aladdin in 4K the original Disney movie and Aladdin live action remake, both 4K, both steel case guys, fantastic picks from Best Buy. I'm telling you, I'm a sucker for a gimmick and Best Buy does a fantastic job with these 4K limited editions. I love them. I'm a sucker for them. I get them. 4K, Blu-ray and digital copy and the digital copy could be yours. You know what to do. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the section below which one you would like to win. And that is actually it for this month, guys. I had to save some money because, like I said, New York Comic Con's coming up. So that's probably where my wallet is going to hate me. So, like I said, next month's haul is probably going to be good, uh, which would be October at the time that I shoot it, even though we'll be going into November. We got some good things coming up, guys. Very excited about the movies and games coming up. And hopefully you guys will see them in here. Speaking of, I am doing a playthrough for Man of Medan right now. Uh, it is a series of 
video games are gonna come out within the next few years all scary stories by the people who brought you until dawn so if you guys want to watch my series for that I'm currently doing a playthrough I'm gonna put a card right up here somewhere but I'm also gonna put it at the end of the video so you guys can check it out with that said guys you have been awesome do me a favor guys stay awesome and geek on Louis